Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, callers. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, y'all. How are y'all? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? Come on, live. Good morning. Good morning, IG. How are y'all this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Y'all back. Y'all back. We back with y'all. We back. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning. It's Monday, y'all. Come on in. Come on. You had a long weekend. You had a long weekend. You've been praying, Kevin Lloyd. You've been praying. You've been talking to God. You've been trying to get this together. Good morning. I got something for you. It's going to help you. Tariq, good morning, man. Back with y'all on IG, man. Appreciate it. Let somebody know. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, well, where Decatur at on IG? I mean, what's taking him so long to get here? Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Carolyn Wesson. Huh? Hill? What's going on? <laughs> what's going on, Ariel? Good morning, Ariel. Terry Vera, congratulations. All you parents that graduated uh, children. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. I'm going to bless you this morning. I believe the Lord is going to give us something that's really going to help us. All right. Good morning. Got this this morning, fresh this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good morning. How are you doing this morning from wherever you are? Welcome to the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. If you're on a call, text somebody. If you're on one of the lives, make sure you like, share, and comment. All right? And when you come on, uh, there's two things that you do. You come in with thanksgiving and praise, and then you come in and you let us know what city and state uh, that you're hailing from. Why? Because we enter into his courts with thanksgiving. We enter into his gates with praise. That's a part of what we do. Everything has a scripture attached, all right? Then from there, we say where we're from. Why? Because we're believing that in this, in this tribe, in this group, in this family, that we're going to have representation in every state. We've got representation now, uh, pretty much, except for on one continent, we need to get uh, two, no, no, I'm sorry, uh, two, we got representation on one continent. We need continent representation. We need state representation. We're going to need uh, city. We're going to need county. We're going to need community. We're going to need house. We got to get this prayer in. What's happening is a result of the enemy's anger, okay? I'm going to help you with this when we get uh, further in, but let me introduce, okay? Let me keep doing that. All right, so you see somebody on the wall, like you see Mona Hall Garland on the wall. You say, what's going on, Mo? Glad that you're here this morning. All right, that that go, Decatur. I wonder where you're at, DB. All right, so this is a beautiful thing, y'all. Let's praise God this morning. I promise you, I promise you, you'll be able to get it in a minute, okay? Uh, so we, we're, we're praising God. We're thanksgiving. We're saying what city and state we're from. We're liking, we're sharing, we're commenting. Commenting will cement the word in your spirit, in your heart. You can re you can produce as it's in the soil of your heart, okay? That's Mark 4. So you want to make sure that you comment, you participate. It's a big deal, all right? When you're saying what city you're from, you're telling somebody else in your city, I'm interceding. I'm interceding for the city. We're believing somebody for the state. Once we get ambassadors for every state, we're going to we'll roll something out so that we can make sure that we're interceding on behalf of our states. Right now, we got some intercession to do. And I'm going to help you understand so that you'll know that your prayers are working. What you see is a result of your prayers working. It's not a result of your prayers not working. That's the misconception of most people. They're looking for all of the good things that happen and not realizing that some of the writhing, some of the quaking, when the prayers of the righteous are, be, are availing, uh, the quaking of the enemy doesn't change. Uh, the, the devil didn't leave because Jesus came to the earth. He tried Jesus too. So what makes you think he's not going to try you? <laughs> all right, so we got to make sure we stay with it. This is your everyday dynamic devotion and prayer. And we're believing God. Uh, we're interceding. We started at the beginning of the pandemic when it was when it's proliferating largely, and then we're not going to stop until God says uh, something different. All right. So again, thank y'all for joining. Motivation, but you're responsible for the application. So the app that you use today will help you live life a better way. We say that we apply the Word of God today to live. Y'all stay with me. 
That's what we're functioning in. That's how this thing is going to work today. All right, so I'm excited about it. Uh, let's uh, let's get prepared to go into the moment of time where you get ready to get your inspiration. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. Somebody decided that you were worth it. And so they tagged you. They called you. They said, make sure that you get on. But those of you that are hosting watch parties, I'm so glad that you are honored that you would even do so. But those of you that are in those watch parties, someone loved you and wanted to make sure that you were a part of what was happening here. So we're getting ready to get going. I want you to be ready. I want you to enjoy because today, inspiration. Are you ready for today's inspiration? Come on, y'all listen. Come on in with your Thanksgiving. Let me get y'all some practice in. Let's give God praise this morning. Before we get started, let's give God some praise this morning. We're on the wall. We say that we're on the wall as if we're in the city of Jerusalem right now and we are praying on the wailing wall. We're putting names on the wall. We're putting prayer requests on the wall. We're even coming to the wall and giving God praise and thanks for answering prayers. So we even put the answered prayers on the wall. We understand that God is in control and we don't have to concern ourselves with control. We have to concern ourselves with obedience and we fulfill what God needs. Compassion, we fulfill what God needs. We're the hands and feet of Jesus, fulfill what God needs. We're going to expand the kingdom, but we're going to have to have somebody praying. And so we have picked up the call. We picked up the mantle to pray. And my goodness, y'all are faithful. And listen, can breakthroughs on the other side of consistency and to the degree that you are consistent, you will see multiple breakthroughs. Come on. It's Monday morning. It's Monday morning. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. For your inspiration on today. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for your inspiration? Are you ready? Let's do it. Now, listen, those of you, I'm looking at something. All right, guys, I want y'all, if you're not able to hear uh, or you're not, well, y'all are able to hear because y'all responded. But if you're, if you're having some difficulty, that's not us. We figured it out. Uh, that is bandwidth, and there's a lot that's going on. So go out and come back in. I'll wait a minute. I'll, I'll play something and wait a second for y'all to go out and come back in, those of you that are, are, are unable to, to hear at this point. Okay? Let's try it. All right, Kevin Lloyd, if you can hear, send up some hearts. I know you don't want to send up hearts, but send up hearts, uh, Kevin Lloyd. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? That's the answer, all right? My mama is, is here from Florida, and she can hear, all right? I see my, my, my wife says she can hear. Let's go. All right, y'all ready? Proverbs, the 18th chapter. Proverbs, the 18th chapter. Not the entire chapter, but we're going to focus in on verse number 21. Proverbs 18 chapter and verse number 21. Many of you know it, but I'm going to give it to you anyway today so that you can really get it. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. We got two days of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. Let's give God praise for his word. Come on. This is going to bless you this morning. All right. This is something I know is going to bless you. Here's what it is. Here's the motivation for doing this application and you're going to appreciate the app, but let me break it down so that we'll see it. All right. Death in, in Hebrew is translated as death. <laughs> death and disease are the, the, the father of death. All right. Life uh, in the Hebrew is uh, is translated as to be alive, to be alive. So we were doing good, right? All right. Are in the power. That, that means that's a phrase, are in the power. So we bring all of those together, all of those prepositions and the, the conjunction and the word there is and, and, and in, in, are in the power, in the power. That's in the possession. Okay, we got that. That's in the possession. So death is death and disease. Life is to be alive. Uh, are in the power. That uh, means the possession. The tongue, we already said that the tongue was a gulf. That it had it had a broad, broad, broad spectrum. Uh, it was like an inlet. It is a power, all right? It is an ability. It is a gulf. It is a vast amount, all right? And then uh, the word fruitful. Fruitful means will be fruitful. That's what, that's what they all mean in the Hebrew, all right? So here's what it means. The power, this is your motivation. Come on, this is your motivation. The power you possess in your tongue is enough to produce fruit in your life. You get to choose the fruit. 
The power that you possess in your tongue is enough to produce fruit in your life and you get to choose the fruit. That's, that's what it's saying. The, the death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. So you choose the kind of fruit that you're going to produce. You're in control because you are in possession. You are in possession of the gulf. You're in possession of the gulf of death and life and you make the decision on what it is that you will produce and that you will enjoy. So what's my app? I need an app. If that's my if that's my inspiration and if that, that's my motivation, what's my app? Well, here's your app. Are you ready? Think before you speak. Think before you speak in today's hour, in this moment in time. Think before you speak and ask Holy Spirit to help you remember what you need to pluck up. Ask the Holy Spirit what you need to pluck up. Give you some words that you probably have put out that you need to pull out so that you don't enjoy the fruit of them. So you know there's some things that you've already spoken, death or life, because you had the power of choice and you were in possession of the gulf, the vast amount. You need to also not just think before you speak, but ask the Holy Spirit to take you back to places so you can renounce what you spoke. So you can denounce what you spoke, rather denounce what you spoke, renounce what's spoken to you, denounce what you've spoken. Denounce it in the name of the Lord Jesus so that you can curse the root or cancel the production of the fruit of the words that you have spoken. Come on, y'all. That Listen, death and life in the power of the tongue. That's your inspiration today. I've given you motivation. You've got the app. Now it's up for you to fulfill the application of it. Today, today, do it today. Apply the word of God today so you can live life a better way. Come on, if you got that today, if you got that inspiration, you got that motivation, you ready to fulfill that application, come on, give God praise for it this morning. Come on, it's Monday, we're ready, we up and we're ready to go. It's time for us to pray. Let's, come on, let's enter in with our thanksgiving. Let's enter into his courts. Let's enter into the gates. Let's give him praise this morning. Come on, y'all. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Now, before I get into prayer, I want to take this time and give you this moment, all right? I want to give you this moment. This is very important. This is a very, very big deal. Don't look at what's happening and go, our prayers are not working. You have to look at what's happening and go, whoa, so we have exposed the enemy. He is angry and he is writhing and he is throwing a temper tantrum. And to those that are subject to his influence and his demonic forces and power and principalities, rulers of darkness, those are the ones that he's working through. But we can't stop praying because we have to pray to the, to the point of what we see, what we've been praying for, not the affirmation or the confirmation that our prayers are working. Whenever a, de a demon was cast out, even in Jesus' time, many times the demons would ask questions or Jesus would speak to the demons. Sometimes you would see a, a couple of places where the demons would ride with the young boy when he was brought to Jesus and Jesus asked why they couldn't get cast him out. Uh, here's what happened. This, it says that the spirit threw the boy down and he was writhing. So this is the kind of response that the enemy will use to try to discourage you from believing that God is working. His effort is to discredit God, discourage you, and then get you to deny your faith. That's not what we're doing. We're staying, come on y'all, we're staying in faith. The power of God is working and we can see it working. This is what he wants to do. He wants to make sure that people are going to be more infected with the virus. This is what he wants to do. He wants to make sure that people lose hope. This man was murdered right there in front of all of our eyes, black, white, Asian, African, African American, uh, uh, European American, Jew, Gentile, it didn't matter. And everybody is upset about it. And everybody wants something done about it. But nobody really understands how to do it. The enemy, however, does. And so he's going to use tactics to try to get us to fall out of faith with God and get in agreement with anger. We're not going to get in agreement with anger because when you're angry, you cannot process and make healthy, wise, quality decisions. You will make emotional decisions and the enemy will get you to use your mouth, to use your post, to use your face.
use your mouth to produce fruit in your life and you're wondering why it's not happening to others because the fruit that comes out of your mouth will come back to you in a multiplied measure. Just like your seeds that you sow come back to you in a multiplied measure. Just like the love you do. Well, let me tell you something. It's the same way. It's the same way. Somebody give God praise because I'm telling you, this is how it works. Let's pray. Are y'all ready to pray? If you heard me, I'm not frozen anymore. Give God praise for it. Let's get it into prayer. Father, we thank you. We give you glory this morning. We magnify your name. We glorify you. We know that you, God, are in control of all things. And because you're in control of all things, we give you glory. We give you praise. We magnify your name. You're worthy, oh, holy, almighty God. You care about us, God. You understand us. You know us. You see us, God. You're there for us. You take you take pleasure in the prosperity of your servant. And so we magnify you. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, praise his holy name. Oh, give him glory. Give glory due unto his name. Oh, lift up your voices. Oh, ye gates, give him praise. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord with the timbrel and dance. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord with your voices. Open up your mouth and give God glory as we enter into this moment. We honor you, God. You are our father. You are in heaven. Holy is your name. Your kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. We bless you. We magnify you. We thank you, Lord God, for being our mechanism, sanctifying us, separating us, putting us in position, moving us out of harm's way, putting us in our right mind. You have sanctified us. You cause us to become holy. You are the one that the authority, you are in place, God, and we give you glory. We lift your name high. You, God, are the only one. You are the only wise one. You are the great king. You are the great father. You are the I am that I am. You are El Shaddai. You are our peace. We are overcomers because you overcame. You, Father God, love us and nothing will be able able to take us out of your hand because God, there is no loss in you. There is no lack in you. We thank you, Lord God, that you ever liveth Jesus to make intercession for us. We thank you, God, for Holy Spirit. You will lead and guide us into all truth. So God, we are not ignorant to the devil's devices because of that one thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You always cause us to triumph and you ever live, God. And so we are always going to have the victory. We praise your name. We adore you this morning. We love you this morning. God, we thank you. Hallelujah to the name of our God. Who is this great God? Who is this King of glory? glory? Who is this Lord of Lords? He is the Lord God. He's strong and mighty. He is the Lord God who lives forever. He is the Lord God, the great creator. He is the Lord God, he who provides. He is the Lord God, he who creates and causes himself to be present when we need him. He responds to the praises of his people. He inhabits the praises of his people. He hears the cry of his people. He responds and shows great and mighty things. We declare and we deny anything that the enemy would try to do to discourage us, to discredit our God so that we would deny our faith. We stand in firm. We believe that with our feet planted that nothing by any means shall be able to harm us. We stand steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We stand here believing that as we believe that our God, he is God and there is none like him. There is none beside him. There is none that have come before him, there would be none to come after him. And right now in this moment, we submit and surrender to him because his word tells us that if we submit, surrender, turn from our wicked ways, he will hear from heaven. He will respond. And we know that he's responding now. So we give you praise, God. We give you glory, God. We thank you, Lord. We ask that you forgive us for all things. Forgive us for the things, God, that we know we did, the things that we forgot that we did. And for those of you that are new, the righteous it says this, that a righteous man will sin seven times daily. So even as we try to live the best we can, we understand that there are just sins unawares. And so God, we don't want anything to separate us from you. We don't want anything to move us away from you. We don't want anything that prevent us from getting and hearing a response from you. So any sin in our life, God, take it out, remove it, wash it away, God. Your word says that you would wash our consciousness and cleanse us and purge our consciousness from dead works. Your word says that you will wash us and make us white as snow. Your word says that when we come to you in faith. God, when we ask for forgiveness, you will remember it no more. You will forgive us and remember it no more. You will cast it into the sea as far as the east is from the west. And so we give you glory. We thank you for the forgiveness. We thank you for this moment, God. We thank you for this time. Come on, give God glory this morning. Give him praise this morning. This is your praise moment. 
Y'all know what it is. It's your praise moment. This is the time where you give God glory. Come on, give him praise. Thank him for what he did. Thank him for who he is. Thank him for the opportunity that he gave us to be before him right now. This is the Thanksgiving moment. He has allowed us in. He's allowed us at this moment. We come from outside of the tabernacle. We come from outside of the tent of meeting. We've come from the outside into the outer court. And now we have moved into the inner court. We're ready to go into the holies of holies. But before you get there, you've already made your offering. You've already given your sacrifice. But now give the sacrifice of praise. Come on. Come on. Give him glory for it. Wake up the people in your house. Come on. Wake up the neighbor. Come on. Y'all know what I'm talking, telling you to do. If you're driving in to work, blow the horn. Let somebody know that you're praising God. Come on. I know they may think that you're trying to riot. They're trying to loot. You're trying to protest. You're trying to demonstrate. That's okay. I am. I'm demonstrating that the power of God is at work. I am. I'm looting hell from all the souls that it doesn't need to have because they need to get to heaven. I am protesting against all the attacks of the enemy. Yes, I am. And I'm doing it with my praise. Come on. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him hallelujah. Come on. We declare hallelujah to the name of the Lord Jesus. We magnify you. We lift you up in this moment. I'm going to give you a little bit more time to praise God. Here's the reason why. Because if God is inhabiting the praises of his people and you need a refreshing, God will refresh those that refresh others. If we send up the sweet aroma in the nostrils of the Father, the word says that he sings over us. The word says that he rises up. The word says that he comes to us where we are. I'm telling you, we need God to come to where we are. It's not happening through worship, not in this moment. It's not happening through preaching, not in this moment. It's happening through the intercession. It is happening through praise. So the intercessors need to praise God. We need to dance around as if we are all high priests and we've got bells on our on our cloaks, uh, bells on our tunics, bells on our robes. Let's dance before the Lord. Let's give him glory now. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank Thank you for all that you're doing. We thank you, Lord, for letting us know the power we have in our tongue. We thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness, for your loving kindness, for your benevolence. We thank you, Lord God, for our right minds. We thank you, Lord God, for our hearts being focused towards you. We thank you, Lord God, that situations could be different. We thank you, Lord God, for the change that you're about to bring. We're excited for what's going to happen as a result, God, of the enemy receiving this defeat, as the enemy getting this blow. God, we declare in Jesus' mighty name that we're excited excited about the results. We're excited about the things that will change. We're excited about the power of God coming into the earth and destroying the works of the enemy. We thank you, Lord God, that we give you praise for it right now. We glorify you. Hallelujah. And today, and today, God, as we come before your throne room, we cast our cares upon you. Your word says for us to cast our cares upon you. Your word says that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. And so, God, we come before you this morning. We cast our cares before you. We make our request that you would end, God, now the looting and the rioting of the enemy. That you would end, God, subverted forces that are trying to defame and trying to distract this morning, trying to distract from what you're trying to do. We declare in Jesus' name that you will give wisdom to the decision makers as it pertains to the rioting, as it pertains to the looting, as it pertains to the coronavirus. We're not going to get off of what we came here to do. And we came to destroy the works of the coronavirus. We came here to destroy the works of sickness and disease. And we're not getting off of it. We will not be distracted by it. But while we're here at the same time, you're a God who can do multiple things. You can be in multiple places. You have all power and you can do multiple things all at the same time. So we thank you, Lord God, that as you're handling one situation here, you can handle another situation there. We come against demonic strongholds that will have authority in places. We remove that authority now by the power of the Lord Jesus and we declare it redeemed. We have been redeemed and we have redeemed the earth and the earth must obey. So we speak now to those that have individual and those that have private organizations that are supporting them, that are bringing this kind of hell and this kind of raucous. We declare in Jesus' name that our God is not a God of confusion. Our God is not a God where he leaves lawlessness available. Our God is a God of hope. And God, we thank you that you're going to give hope to those that are protesting, that you're going to give hope to those that are demonstrating, that you're going to give hope to those that are sick and those that are in dealing with disease. We thank you that you're giving hope because your hope is going to cause their faith to rise. We thank you now in Jesus' name that you would raise up in the hearts 
of the people, Lord God, and that you would give strategy, that you would give wisdom, that you would give resolution, and that, God, you would give eradication to racism, eradication to corona, eradication to sickness and disease of all kinds. Your word says that when we come to you and make our requests known unto you, that's your desire. So we are should, we're not to be anxious for anything. We're not to be in worry. We're not to be in panic. We're not to live in anxiety. We're to be those that live in the shalom of God, your peace, God. And we receive it now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for black and white people. We thank you, Lord God, for Asian and European people. We thank you, Lord God, for Australian and African. We thank you, Lord God, for Indonesian God and Indian. We thank you, Lord God, for Caribbean people. We thank you for all people because, God, this is not a people issue. This is the demonic issue. And we come against the demonic forces that will continue to try to perpetrate against all kinds of people. We're all your people. For your word says that you love the world and you sent your son. And so, God, we are not going to be like the world and try to dictate who is going to be accepted by your son because we are the whoever, that whoever believes in him should not perish. We give you thanks for it on this morning. We give you praise for it this morning. If that's your prayer and you agree with me this morning, come on, give God glory for it. Come on, IG. Come on, telephone call. Come on, Facebook. The enemy has tried to attack the entire time, but he cannot get a victory from those who already have it. The enemy cannot get a victory from those who already have it. I'm telling you, give God glory for it. Give him praise for it. I'm telling you, it's a wonderful morning. I know the enemy tried to paint a bad picture, but listen to me. The word of God says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. You got your joy this morning. You got your focus this morning. Get your mouth right this morning. If you get your mouth right this morning, you'll get your mind right. Get your mind right and your heart will be the thing that seeded into it. What do you mean? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. So your heart's got to send a message to your mind before it sends instructions to your tongue. Your heart got to send a message to your mind before your mind sends instructions to your tongue. Get your heart right. Say, God, take out of this, th take out this thing out of me, that stone. Take out this pain and anger out of me, God, but replace it with a heart of love. Replace it with a heart of compassion. I don't have to be passive just because I'm being compassionate. I'm not soft because I'm compassionate. I am understanding that the kingdom of God is the one that has the final say. Our God has the final say. So I have a responsibility to speak against injustice. I have a responsibility to come against the wicked schemes of the enemy. I have a responsibility and I, meaning the body of Christ, you and I say it. I got a responsibility, but I am not going to participate participate with the devil trying to get God's work done. I ain't participate with the enemy trying to get God's work done. Don't work like that. Hallelujah. You got to get that understanding. So what am I going to do? I'm going to declare the works of the Lord that they're wonderful and they're marvelous in our sight. And I see the activity of the enemy because he has exposed himself because the enemy is not very smart. And so he is exposed and upset. And so he's writhing. So he couldn't get us with the coronavirus because he was steady trying, but we, we ended that. And so now, listen, what do you mean we ended that? Because you don't realize that the actual projection for death was 2.4 million people. Get that. It was 2.4 million people. It is the prayers of the righteous that will quell the activity of the enemy. What you don't see is that the death of this man, one man, one man is sending a message across the world. God is working it together. If you look at the Old Testament, there is an offering called a bull offering, which is a sacrifice for the rest, for, for everything else. A, a bull offering, a strong, a powerful gift, a bull is as an offering for the sins of everybody else. Get this, if you look at it, which means that... When good, you got to ask the question, how is that going to work together for our good? How is the pain of that family going to work together for our good? God is a righteous judge and God knows all and sees all and all things work together for our good. And you will see that in the days to come. This, this, ain't, this, this is not something that was taken. This was an offering that was given and we're going to see the results of it 
in the days to come. All right, y'all, listen, I love you. I'm so glad that you joined the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. Those of you that are on the phone call, thank y'all so much. Honored that y'all are here. God bless you. Make sure that you text somebody the information so they can jump on tomorrow. I'll meet you back here at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. All right, listen, uh, IG, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for sticking in there. God is with us. Don't you throw in the towel. Don't you give up. You keep praying. You stay with it and watch your mouth, right? Watch your mouth and then ask God, what do I need to pluck up that I have spoken because I don't want to enjoy the fruit of it, all right? Y'all be blessed, have a great day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Be blessed. All right, Facebook, listen, y'all y'all all right over there? Y'all all right? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm excited about what God is getting ready to do. You stay in faith. You keep the faith. You stay in prayer and watch God do his work. It's going to come to pass. You're going to see it while you're in the land of the living. I promise you that. All right. Love y'all. Meet y'all back here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for the everyday until dynamic devotion and prayer. All right. Be blessed.